Cool. I put uh, we get the jump box on. It might it might need more power than the jump box and give. Yeah. Let's do it, man. I'm down. Forty eight. Got it. It's a good deal. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna deliver it to you for free. We're coming for you, New York. So we couldn't get the bike running when the guy showed up. We got the bike running later. It was the, the whole thing was a battery. We could have solved this really easy if we knew, if we were as smart as the people that watch the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> we could have got this thing running. So now we're going to New York and uh, hopefully this thing fires up for him. It should, there's no reason it shouldn't. We pulled it back and then relocated that thing like back a little bit. One ass, yeah, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We'll just strap it down. Yeah. So, the reason we have this spider web of tank straps in the back of the van, not all of these are connected to the bike, only two are connected to the bike. There are, the rest are tying, holding down the seat. We that, secured the we passenger secured the seat, seat yeah. with tank <laughs> that hair That Harrison sits in. The manufacturer's bolts were too weak. Right. All right, Ooh. 7 o'clock in the morning, we have the bike. Ding. It's charged. <laughs> <laughs> you no know, idea why I did that. <laughs> why did you <laughs> ding? Absolutely no idea. It was early. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. It's charged. It's fired up. We got the ramp. I got to get the charging thing out of my car. Oh, it's in your car. The inverter? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I used it wow. one day. My phone's about to die. I used it one day. I completely forgot. Wow. About it. We've been looking think, for that. Yo, yeah. So I actually was looking for that inverter for about 30 minutes before Caleb showed up. Oh, really? Yeah. I used it one day to charge my phone, and I, I didn't honestly think of any. Like, I was like, ah, we don't use this that often. <laughs> but we do. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ding. <laughs> So I generally try to avoid New York at all costs, like it's the plague. Uh, occasionally I have to drive through it, and it's horrible, but I've watched a lot of seasons of Blue Blood, and I feel like I know the uh, the commissioner of um, <laughs> New York Police Department, <laughs> Tom Selleck. <laughs> he drives a Ferrari. You used that joke so many times when we were going to New York. I know. Can we buy bootleg stuff? Can we go there just to buy some bootleg stuff? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Right, what, yeah. what can we buy bootleg? Dude, they have like everything bootleg. Apparently you can get like sunglasses and t-shirts and... <laughs> One time I was at a, like a Walmart parking lot and some guy rolls up with like a box. This was like Amazon before it was Amazon. This is how you bought cheap, people would buy cheap stuff off all of like overseas and sell. Uh -huh. The guy walks up with a box and he's selling these flashlight slash tasers. It was a flashlight on the front and a taser on the back. It was like 15 bucks. Buy one. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was like, I take credit card too. I'm like, there's no way I'm giving you my credit card. <laughs> You're a dude walking around with a box. And then me and my buddy, we all like tasered ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, how that feel? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like a super high voltage taser. Um, for 15 bucks, you know. It was like a, it was only, it could only tase up to what, like a grizzly bear? Yeah, I'd be a little small cat. <laughs> so the whole problem that we had before we could get the bike started was because of the bad battery. Now we've had the thing on the tender, the thing fired up every single time I've ever tried to fire it up with this new battery. I also want to make sure that when he gets it, it is 100% fully charged. So we even have the bike in the van, plugged into a tender. The way these tenders work, if that, if that green light is on, it's at 100%. If the green light is flashing, 
then it's at 80 or above. Um, oh, it says, hold on, it says we're right up here, three people have reported a speed trap. What app is that? Uh, it's just Google Maps. You can report that now on Google Maps. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like ways. Uh, up here in a couple of feet, or not a couple of feet, like a half mile. See right there? That, that, that's a speed trap. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it says we're coming up on it. There it uh, is, right there. It, it's for real. Yeah. What's the speed limit? I have no idea. Probably 65. Oh, is 65. Gonna get, is that going to get pulled over? Just to be safe, I'm going to go 35. <laughs> Come on. The popo. -po. Yo, can you throw, how do you throw in there that, it, that it's a speed trap? Let's contribute. Let's throw it, it once. It'll say, it'll say. It's, it's, it asked if it, was, if it was in there, and you clicked yes, didn't you? Is there a speed yes. trap? Yes. Yeah, there was legit a speed trap Yo, right there. Yo, for once, we contributed. <laughs> Yo, the reason we didn't get caught, lucky dinosaur. <laughs> what is that? Spike, Spikeosaurus? Uh, yeah, Spikeosaurus. Stegos <laughs> it's, isn't it called Stegosaurus or something? Okay, like that? okay, nerd. I don't know. I don't know. Dinosaurs. It's not Stegs. Somebody, like somebody watched Jurassic Park a few times. Yo, for real though, Land Before Time is my life. Oh, I like Land Before Time. Love. I never watched time. Jurassic Park. I'll be honest. With you. Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't watch dinosaur movies. I don't I've like. Never dinosaurs. watched Jurassic Park. I saw the one with Chris Pratt. Like what? once. And it was wow. Stupid. It was a great movie, man. Dude, yeah, Jurassic Park so. movies. Best. I hate those kind of movies. Uh, Why? They're not, uh, they're not, they're not horror uh, movies. What was our uh, ETA when we started? Uh, like 10.47 or something. What's our ETA now? 10.47 at night? No, 11.40. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah. Holy We've been crap. hovering at 2 hours 10 minutes for the last like 30 minutes. Wow. Oh Are gosh. we going the right way? Yeah, yeah. It's just the traffic. We're like hitting this red traffic and then... That. Oh, oh my that gosh, traffic. that looks terrible. But you gotta realize it's only 9.30, so uh, going through, look at this, plus 58 minutes to get from there to there. Don't. Welcome to New York, boys. I got rid of the energy, said. Okay, thank you, I'll be here. Let me know when you guys are about 30 minutes away so I can order lunch. Oh, in parentheses it says, except for Harrison, keep him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how far out are we? Um, hour 14. Are you serious? We're like two feet away from New York. But are you serious? So We're about an hour and 14 away? Dude, it's traffic, bro. You can see New York from Newark, right? Yeah, New York's right over there. Do we have any money in case we need cash? <laughs> there is a... <laughs> I got cash. <laughs> how much do I owe you? From the last five times I borrowed cash from you. So obviously we're all super millennials and Sean never carries cash. However, the same guy that buys DVDs and VHSs happens to carry cash that happens to be Harrison. So somehow Sean always ends up borrowing, like, it, like I feel like it's like 30 bucks. Tolls 20 or 20 bucks or... for a toll. We owe Harrison, he owes Harrison like $200 by now, but. Just a running tab at this point. <laughs> he just keeps pulling cash out. And Harrison keeps on bringing cash. <laughs> Did I pay with a card? I got 10 bucks. She was very disappointed in me. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> so now I'm supposed to be in? Yeah. I got to jam in that. Like All right. And there's people coming behind you, they're gonna freak out. I'm stretching. I'm gonna make this work. Oh look, there's room for us right here. Bam! Oh, damn! We're we'll over a couple tire things. <laughs> and we are in the money. That was so anti that, that was way easier. Awesome. Yeah, what's our ETA now? Like, how far away are we now? 59 minutes. Wow! It is all, are we it's, here? It's all like city We're driving. We're in New York, yes. It's all city driving. Welcome to New York. I hate the fact that you could be two hours away and live in the same city. Yeah. Yeah. Navigating through New York was crazy. Yeah, I hate New York. I felt like there was at one moment we took 12 right hand turns in a row. I feel like at one point it was legit. There were so many turns that were close together that until we were at the physical, like, at the physical Y, we didn't know which way we were going. Yeah, we had no clue. Yo, initiate manual defrost. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So blowing on the windshield did not actually solve the problem. We came up with a more permanent solution. So if you're wondering what we're doing, <laughs> our defroster's broken and it's <laughs> smeared our thing. Dude, all this rain is coming in to the car all the <laughs> <laughs> I just sit here all day. Yo, hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold uh -huh. up, I'll save you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't even know why we even need to fix the defroster. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> is this slimy? Dude, it's gross. It's like it's like a layer of black smoke. Ew. And when I touched it, I saw my fingerprints on the... Touching the slimy wall. Oh my and then gosh. Just like that D.A.R.E. campaign back in like the 90s told me not to give in to peer pressure. Uh, I gave in to hardcore peer pressure. When they were telling me, chanting for me to touch the wall. Touch the wall! <laughs> touch the wall! And Sean was driving the van this close to the wall, trying to get me to touch it. So I reached out and touched it, and no joke, that wall's probably never been touched in his entire <laughs> life. It was so slimy. I saw, I literally tapped it, and I saw my imprint, like, my fingers, like, went into the wall, and I was like, ooh, this is a squishy. And then I realized it was just all the sludge on the outside of the wall. Walked over the curb a You bit. might have. You were so close. And then how did you explain to your wife that that's how you got AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> We're under the water. I can breathe now. So you know how you're supposed to like hold your breath when you go through a tunnel? One time I was doing that, I was holding my breath going through the tunnel and I should have known better because I was the driver and I actually passed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just man. ate those pretzels with my hands after touching that <laughs> wall. <laughs> Joke's on you, those were saltines. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're jerks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what CPR stands for. <laughs> what does CPR stand for? Does anyone know CPR? <laughs> yeah! Courtesy! Professionalism! <laughs> respect! <laughs> no, no, this guy's dying! Yeah, courtesy! Right! <laughs> he needs CPR. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I'm giving him a lot of respect right now. I'm keeping the boundaries. <laughs> As a courtesy, I'm keeping the boundaries. <laughs> That's professionalism. Act, acting extremely professional. <coughs> That's professionalism. I'm not going to touch him in any appropriate, inappropriate ways. Out of he starts like a champ now. I heard, I saw him. Is that the whole thing? It falls off too, right? I'll take the mat as a big dog. <laughs> Successful. Yeah. She's home. Much, buddy. Appreciate it. You guys hungry? Yeah, yeah that's lunch. Right? <laughs> that's lunch. Hit it, guys. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> the pizza was amazing. Honestly, huge slices. Best pizza I've had in years. New York style pizza is awesome. The pizza was freaking awesome. It just it didn't even fit in the box. It was so big. It didn't fit in the box? <laughs> it didn't even get it there. <laughs> it was like hanging on the delivery driver's like, car seat, you know? He put it in there, he's like, hey boss, how this is hanging out the box? He's like, hey, just deliver it anyway. <laughs> These guys are from Pennsylvania, they don't know anything. Yeah, they don't think any of our pizza fits in the box, it's amazing. It didn't even fit in the box. <laughs> yeah, because of my strict diet, I couldn't eat any of the pizza. It was the most horrible thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, 
so yeah, it's only five hundred percent. We put a brand new uh, lithium ion battery in it. So I wanted to make sure that it started when we brought it here to you. Um, you know, it's funny because I went out and I bought one. <laughs> so now I got two. Uh, watching the video from before, I could have gotten it started like three times. If I had known that, when it starts to crank, just give it a little bit of throttle. Really good, yeah. yeah, I was looking at it. That, that carburetor probably has to be clean. It's been sitting around for a little bit. Now, I'm going to turn the fuel completely okay. off. Look at how has no motorcycle. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> so he's out there and he keeps, you know, bring it down, bring it down. Customize it for you. He goes out. There we go. Hey, you want to take this for the road? Oh, That's nice! Yo, let's nice see you guys. Okay, brother. Hey, it's nice seeing you again. That was sick. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cool. I entered New York as a calm, driving, reserved Pennsylvania man. But New York had a pretty big influence on me. I'm driving in a tunnel here! I'm submarining here! Hey Dad, I finally made it to Broadway. This is definitely not how we do shipping at all, typically. Uh, it's not three guys leaving at seven o'clock in the morning in a big creepy white van bringing your bike down to you. This was kind of like an outlier case. However, if we do bring your bike to you, we do expect lunch and pizza. But this is kind of, it was kind of an outlier case. Usually we use like a super professional company. Uh, they come with a gigantic truck and like a whole bunch of equipment and they load your bike up and they, they take meticulous care of your bike. And actually we usually lose, actually lose money on the shipping. Uh, we actually lose like over a hundred bucks on every single bike we ship. Um, and that's just keep the cost low for you guys, but but yeah, usually it's a lot more professional of a company, it's not you know, three dudes in a white van. But this was kind of a different story. Hey guys, here's a little Bikes and Beards short that we made for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. So I told my wife, I said, no, no, you do all the negotiations. You're better at it than me. Yo, bro, you wanna drive? I like riding shotgun. I like riding shotgun too. I just can't open this jar. Can you do it? Nah, feelings are really important to me. Dude, I love when my girlfriend drives me around in my truck. Yo, we should go sunbathing today. Nice. I wish we had a blanket. Dude, I got a blanket in the car. Oh, cool. Maybe my wife can fix this. So I'll stop going to the gym because I realize I already got too much muscle. Sometimes my wife just gets too naked, if you know what I mean. I've always wanted to look more like a little boy. I'm going to try to shave my beard. Yeah, you know, I think it's just a little bit too much Clint Eastwood for me. So she tried to hold my hand at the movies, and I'm like, nah, girl, I really like you. I'm trying to take it slow. No, no, I don't need any more tools. Oh, dude, I don't need any more either. I'm good. I'll just throw them away. Okay. Zumba last night was insane. Yeah, you got something in your beard, man. Let me get that. There you go. You know what I think we need right now? A woman's perspective. Yo, have you seen my mom? She is so hot. Dang. Yo, can I have your veggies? Nah, no, dude. Those are my veggies. So I told my wife, of course you need more shoes. What's up, man? Yeah, I can't hang out tonight. I got too much beer in the fridge. I gotta throw some of it away. I gotta make room for some vegetables. All right, man. Yo, I love when my wife picks the movies for us. Bro, I don't even want to watch the game. What game? Yoga's my life. Dude, I can't believe she tried to move that fast on the first date. Wow. I cannot use that bathroom. That is gross. Punching my wife's ex-boyfriend never even crossed my mind. I really hope our new boss is a woman. I really appreciate their perspective. Yeah, I really need to watch a sad movie tonight. I haven't cried in a while. I think this thing just has too much horsepower. I love cats. I love cats. I just love cats. Hold on. Ding. Ding. Oh, ding. <laughs> is it a hot rod? Ding. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Let's go with these glasses. 